Okay, this is a catch-up video, so I'm going to go quick just so you can get the code in and get caught up. Uh, so our game currently, we can catch the stars and all of that great stuff, but nothing really happens. Like we're just adding points, and we need a way to end the game and win the game. So go to your star sprite, and we're going to add some code to end the game. So click on events. We're going to do win green flag clicked. We're going to bring out a forever block so that this happens for the entire game. And we're going to bring out an if-then block. I'm going to leave it out for a minute just so you can see it a little bit more easily. This is a new area here. So basically, we're going to be looking for a certain score to end the game. So in the green operators area, I need you to look for this middle block in this group of three, greater than, less than, equal. Go ahead and bring out an equal block and put it in the if-then. And we're going to say... Uh, notice it says if blank equals 50. We're going to change the 50. We're going to change it to 5 so we can test our game a little bit more quickly, make sure it works. But we need to put something in this area right here. So we're going to put our variable in there. So go to variables, grab your score variable, and drop it into that. So this says if the score equals 5, then we want to end the game. Now I'm going to be honest with you. What we're about to do is going to do nothing until we do the next video. So this isn't actually going to change anything. It's not going to look like it changes anything in the game, but it will eventually. So we're going to go to uh, Control and, or is it Events? It's Events. Go to Events, and you're looking for a Broadcast Message 1. Put that in here, and we're going to change this Message 1. We're going to click New Message, and we're going to call this Win. And then you're going to put that in the Forever. Now, as I just mentioned, if you play the game right now, nothing is going to change. It's going to be the next video where we change something with it. But if, as long as you have this code right now, you're good to go.